Spotted turtles are in trouble. Development and climate change are shrinking the wetlands they call home. The bright designs on their shells make the turtles valuable on the black market, and raccoons, their main predator, are everywhere. As a result, spotted turtles are classified as a threatened species in Ohio. Multiple reasons why spotters are in trouble. One of them is that their, their habitat has just really disappeared. Uh, Ohio's lost over 90% of its wetlands. That's one reason. Another is that some of their predators have gone up quite a bit. The one is the raccoon. Its population has gone up 800% in the last 25 years, and that's according to the Division of Wildlife. And then the third is the pet trade. Uh, spotted turtles can run several hundred dollars in the pet trade. So it's this kind of this combination, a uh, triple whammy. If they have no places to go out and lay their eggs, or when they're out because of predators, now they're, they're either the adults or the eggs are being destroyed. Very rapidly, you can see you know, population decline. A broad partnership of organizations is working to boost the spotted turtle population in Northeast Ohio by collecting egg-bearing female turtles, then rearing and releasing their offspring. This process is called head starting. The Greater Cleveland Aquarium, the Wild Forever Foundation, and the Cleveland Museum of Natural History are involved in the largest such head starting effort to date. Head starting is where we take the eggs from a female incubate and then once the turtles are hatched we then rear or start to raise the turtles to a certain size or age and then we release them with the chance of a greater survival. It would just be a shame to see this population of very specialized turtles go away literally in our lifetime so it's just great when everyone comes together you know for nothing more than to save a little small spotted turtle. Since 2013 Naturalists have trapped spotted turtles each spring and summer on one of the Natural History Museum's wetland preserves. Male turtles are tagged with microchips for identification and quickly returned to the wild. Female turtles are x-rayed to determine if they're carrying eggs. Pregnant turtles get a hormone shot to induce egg delivery. After that, the mother turtles are also returned to the wild so they can continue to reproduce. Their eggs are incubated at a temperature high enough to produce more female hatchlings than males. Depending on the temperature settings we do, we can modify the sex on these uh, that we're going to hatch, whether more females more, or more males or a mix. Um, and then once they hatch out, we'll make sure that they get started uh, eating, that we'll start them out on get them acclimated to environment, and then we'll move them up to um, the Clem Aquarium, where, where they're going to be holding until the time when they're ready for release. For the next few years, the hatchling turtles are cared for in a special facility at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium while they grow. The effort is supported by donations to the aquarium's nonprofit Splash Fund. The turtles are fed a diet of bugs and worms, and their weight and medical condition is regularly checked. Human contact is kept at a minimum, so the turtles don't lose their natural instinct to avoid people. We currently have six hatchlings that are ready for release out into a natural area. And we have eight hatchlings here at the facility that we are still head starting for another year. Back at the museum property, naturalists dig shallow ponds that will nurture the young turtles when they're released. Wildlife officials trap and remove raccoons from the area to improve the turtles' chances of survival. We decided to do restoration of the existing pools that were here, these shallow, shallow pools. Uh, that these guys need. And so we excavated them just a little bit deeper, a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, a mosaic landscape of different pools so they could go from pool to pool because they're one of the most terrestrial turtles. We feel like if, if we do nothing more than help them hatch them and put them back in the same environment, they're still going to have the same pressures that have led them to their threatened status you know, as it is. So the uh, uh, Klee Museum has been, you know, really um, aggressive at getting out there and building good environments and making new environments in the same ecosystem. So we know it's an area that they're comfortable in. When the turtles are large enough, they're ready to be let go. To prepare, they're moved from the aquarium to a temporary cage on the museum's preserve where they can get acclimated to natural conditions. After several weeks, the big moment is at hand. So the release of the six hatchlings is definitely an exciting moment, but also a nervous moment where we've put a lot of effort into their care here at the aquarium and we're setting them free. And so we uh, do have to cross our fingers a little bit that they 
will survive and that we provided the proper care for them to get them to this moment. The six spotted turtles released into the wild this summer by the aquarium and the museum are the most so far among the partnership's various head starting efforts. It's a lot of work, but the project is paying off. This is part of an ongoing project, but it also does give us the information on what we need to do for the future. And you can't look at it as six turtles, too. Uh, right now, these are six females. You know, these could, you know, account for hundreds uh, of turtles in the future. So uh, this is just, we're just planting the seed right now out there and we're expecting the turtle tree to grow. It's exciting and nerve-wracking all at the same time. We've worked so hard to get to this point, you know, three years of investment of daily checking on them every day and weighing them every week and watching them grow and, and all those look like a parent, a proud parent, every little bump you saw or every little something that didn't seem right, you know, and then here we are just letting them go and that's part of being a parent I suppose is letting your, your kids go.